Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so this is going to be a Virgo Sun, Virgo Moon, and as well Virgo Rising. Weekly title reading November 25th to December 1st, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, whoops, we can jump a right, uh, yeah, right into it. All right, so the first card, which stands for the topic of your week, Virgo here, is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the second one, which represents the challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That will be the uh, Page of Wands, followed by the fourth one, which stands for the positive aspect of the week, and that is going to be the Four of Pentacles. And then the last one here, which stands for the guidance that uh, Taro is offering to you, we have the Tree of Wands. Okay, so quite interesting. All right, so Tree of Pentacles, uh, that will be accompanied with uh, the Lover's card. So we do have a passive enemies into this position. And uh, the week, uh, it's going to be, uh, how do you say it, where you research, all right, where you research and calculate your options available in a, a particular dire direction. It's more like a collecting opinion. It's more like a searching for a, a support to start, for example, business or to start, for example, relationship. It doesn't really matter. But the point here is that you don't have the luxury to choose allies or the luxury to, to choose a, a approach. It is kind of like you have to make the best out of it or the best of the best out of what you do have and that only can happen through allowing people to support you through your development through a um <clears throat> having a um how can i say it having a um mm, those kind of profound and deep conversations upon the root of the matter upon the root of the matter or for example why you have problems into your relationship upon the roots of why you're not as successful as you can be into your relation uh, into your career i'm sorry it is because these two cards are pointing that uh pretty much the options that you have tried out that you thought are something good you know or that you thought that they are um productive Maybe they haven't worked out the best you hoped for. And now it's time to lean on to, um, let's say, people who are willing to help you, who are willing to guide you, who are willing to, you know, to support you through a further development. So let's say that now in this week, you will have to resort to your plan B. You will have to resort to your plan Z, if you will. That is because with these two cards, Virgo, it looks like that... Um, predicaments that you hope that they're going to simply go away on their own accord it looks like that, that it's not going to happen and unfortunately you will have to attend to those predicaments but the good thing is that you don't have to do it on your own okay you do have people who are to help you with it and who are to guide you those people have a bigger experience that you do in these 
sorts of uh, sort of matters and while you may not be very pleased and you may not be very happy to that you have to resort to help of others well that is the, that is the thing that you going to produce best results right to allow someone or group of people to help you so what is going to be the challenge here we do have a person which is at the page of wants and it is accompanied with the uh, Eight of Cups. And it's a pretty, how can I say it? It's a pretty long shot that it is connected with the, the uh, with the topic. I do believe that there is kind of like a, a peripheral thing that has nothing to do with the topic. It is just a, a thing that keeps you occup occupied. That is a, a person who believes that they don't need you, all right? That they are just good enough on their own accord. Very well, that could be a child of yours, the thing that they know at all and you can't tell them anything or you can't tell them a, tell them a, a thing because they think that, what do you know? I mean, it's their life, you know? Everybody has these problems with their children. Yeah, so that is a, a person who is very stubborn according to that to these two cards we do have an, an active um, enemies here and uh, although that person sees that things are not going on very well okay with whatever endeavor they are in they still try it out because they kind of secretly hope that things are going to work out miraculously magically that could be let's say your you know your uh, son having troubles in, in their relationship, you advise them to leave it be, you know, because it's not productive, they are still stubborn and diving into it, so etc, etc. The point is, is that at, that at that particular stage, you do have enough at your plate for what it seems with these cards. Do not mm, kind of like take problems of others as your personal problems. That person here, uh, what, what we do have with this person, it is not the end of the world. I mean, they're going to live through it. So right now, it's best that you attend to your own personal uh, personal needs. Uh, by the way, that person is going to give an impression that they doesn't really care what is going on around them, but deep, deep down inside them, they are very, very fragile and they take it uh, very deeply. It's kind of like they are suffering through it. So why this is all happening? I mean, why you have to resort to things you did not want it to back in the days, okay? We do have uh, the Four of Pentacles, which is the positive aspect. And uh, wow, it is accompanied with uh, or catalyzed with the High Priestess. So we are talking about a long-term stability here that is to happen to you in throughout this week. So what happens it is that you do take the necessary defensive measures to solidify yourself, to solidify your relationship, for example, to solidify your career, for example, and through those necessary measures, defensive measures, all right, you will be able to in, to secure an uninsured or to ensure a, a secure future for yourself. The high priestess here points, it is that you are going to reach a, a point where everything goes um, in a monotone fashion, you know, are uh, completely deprived from downs rather than ups. Well, the High Priestess is that kind of a card uh, in an overall uh, as a, a catalyst to the Four of Pentacles that gives it a, a, a prolonged stability. It's kind of like a prolonged peace, if you will. So this is why you resort to those things to achieve a peace, either career-wise or either relationship-wise. Now, um, relationship-wise goes even deeper and it means that um, through solidifying your relationship, you are also going to strengthen their, the bonds in between you and your partner, okay? So we can, um, you can expect, Virgo, that uh, you're gonna simply love each other more. And uh, you're going to not only just that, but also a, attend to the needs of each other even more. So it's a big, big week for you guys, especially if you attend to a, a personal uh, matters and it is kind of advisable to uh, to do so 
That being said, the Tree of Pentacles may refer to, let's say, couples therapists, all right? You may not want it to resort to that, but things are going into such a way that probably that is the only option. And when you go there, uh, you both with your partner will see that things are not as bad as they seem and they're actually very fixable. I not just only that, but you do have a big potential for each other. And the last card that we do have, it refers to the uh, guidance that Taro is offering. That is going to be the Tree of Wands. Wow, it is accompanied with the um, Wheel of Fortune. So we do have an active supporter into this position. Uh, well, simply the cards, these cards are pointing that right now you are sitting on a well-established foundations. I mean, it's time for you to consolidate. That's for one and for second, uh, to move on forward and to develop, or in other words, to grow. You are going to have the chances you desire, or rather like the openings you do desire, because the will here points that there is to be a stir into your situation, a stir into your career, or a stir into your relationship. A stir from which you can basically provoke a... Uh, and an, and an exciting event, you know, exciting enterprises. You can take a participation into an exciting enterprises, but you have to kind of push yourself a little bit more because the growth, especially as a um, active supporter to the Tree of Wands, comes through a challenging yourself. So challenge yourself to experience different stuff. Challenge yourself to explore a different shores, if you will, career-wise or a relationship-wise as well. And through experiencing different enterprises here that's probably, you know, you haven't thought that you're going to do so, uh, there will be once-in-a-lifetime opportunity opening for you, or at least that is the guidance. It could appear a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity for you, especially if you are looking for a job, for example, especially if you're looking for a relationship. Those two cards, if I were Virgo and I was looking for a, for a uh, relationship, you know, those two cards would have said to me that I would have to explore new social circles as a uh, guidance, you know, and uh, kind of like um, socialize more with uh, people that are, you know, in a, in a productive or kind of like growing relationship so they can give me an advice how to do it, you know, that will allow me to secure my um, or to ensure my secured future. So that being said, guys, our uh, Virgo, this was your weekly tarot reading November 25th to December 1st, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.